Don't, 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 don't kiss, don't kiss. Boris, what the heck are you doing to that Indian? <laughs> I'm not sure. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is amazing. Today is gonna to be incredible, and we are starting off inside an African serval cage here at Gatorland. We're gonna spend the first part of our day at Gatorland, and then we've got some amazingly awesome things planned for a little bit later in the day. But for now, this is Jabari. Look at Jabari. Hi. So beautiful. Hi, little one. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. Jabari. <laughs> What's happening? Hey Jabari. Hi Jabari. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, sir. He found the food. Oh, what's that? It's a blanket. He loves blankets. That is a gorgeous baby. How old is Jabari? Jabari's only a year old. A year old. A year old. He's a very big year and he's about 26 pounds right now. So he's a big, big boy. Of course, one of the things I think is amazing about servals is just their ability to leap. I mean, Jabari, what can, how high can he jump, do you think? About 15 feet. So 15 feet? Just in play, we've gotten him to jump about six feet, just oh straight up in the air. Gosh. And his Jabari. favorite toy is a squeaky tennis ball actually what he will jump for and uh, he actually cares more about his tennis ball than food most of the time so whenever we're out here playing and training and stuff that's a better reward sometimes than just plain out food <laughs> he smells the tennis balls in my jacket <laughs> He's got he has it <laughs> I always say that I love going inside of exhibits when it comes to places like this and I am so lucky to be able to have great friends like Savannah and all the people here at Gatorland that allow us to get this amazing experience. I mean, this is the way I love to start every day. Oh my god. Ready, ready, jump! Good boy! Sweet, he jumped so high. Ready? Ready? Jump! Ah! Oh, 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 that was awesome. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but uh, this was a great start to the day, so I am ready to get going. Savannah, what else you got for us? Let's go find out. <laughs> so I've actually been to Gatorland now several times, and there's still places that I didn't know exist. And you said that this is like the head of the Ever. This is the right. actual Everglades right here. That right, we're the head into. of it. Yes, wow. and uh, so all of this water goes down south, and and this land right here can never be developed. Wow. Gatorland will never, ever, ever let anyone develop this. So this there's a family of otters that live out here. There's lots of cotton mouths, frogs, turtles, all kinds of things. And if I wasn't so loud, we might see some of those. Savannah. <laughs> We're actually in an enclosure for Bone Crusher, which is a very old American crocodile. As a matter of fact, this is kind of the relative to the original Bone Crusher that was here when the park first started. So uh, he's a really old one and he's coming. Take a look at how big. He is. Come on, buddy. Come on. He's stalking us right now. He's gonna start looking up. Come on, big boy. Easy. Hey. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Hey. Hi. Here we go. Don't look at our guest. Look at me. <laughs> He's looking at you, Brian. He is looking at you. He's looking at you, Brian. Yep. I think you can get him, Bone Crusher. Distract him, Mike? No, I want to see how close he gets to Brian. And again, this is an old crocodile. I mean, literally so old that most of his teeth are gone. And some of them are starting to grow back because, you know, crocodilians will literally lose teeth their whole life and grow back. But that's how old Bone Crusher is, which is pretty amazing. That is an absolutely impressive American crocodile right there. And again, just to see an animal that is so kind of related to the kind of foundation of Aderland is, is just absolutely incredible. This animal is gorgeous. So this is definitely one of the most exciting parts of the trip. You guys absolutely know how much I love Cuban crocodiles, Crocodilus rhombifer. They are the most intelligent of all crocodiles. They are the fastest moving crocodiles. They're known for high walking, so it's a really unique behavior where they're actually up on their legs, walking, and, and, and sometimes even galloping. So being able to be here, see these amazing animals and the cool conservation work they're doing with them, I'm so excited right now. Let me just kind of set this up for you a little bit. Those are Cuban crocodiles right there. There's the female, there's the male. They're the most athletic, fast crocodiles in the world. And you know, here at Gatorland, uh, Mike is just in the pond with them. I'm not exactly sure what he's doing. So, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna watch Mike because this guy is awesome. Let's let's watch. Him. Ricardo, 
Ah. Ricardo, here. No. No. Look at how long back legs are. Hold. You're not listening. Are you hungry? She never listens. <laughs> he just said she's not listening. <laughs> That's not a good thing. Ricardo, right? here. Well, We'll do it in a second. Ricardo, up. Ricardo, up. You're not looking up. You're looking at me. He's looking up. He's looking at my chest. A leaf. Ricardo, up. Ricardo, up. He's going to protect the leaf. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. So honestly, Brian, Mike is officially cooler than you. Oh man, you look like <laughs> this is the whole reason why I really didn't want you guys to meet Mike, because I. Yeah. All right. No, yeah, he's way I'm gonna, cooler. I'm gonna, Sorry. I'm just gonna go now. <laughs> so here's the deal: we're actually going in with the big Niles right now, and Noah has never been in with these big animals. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let him film on his channel. You guys, uh, I'll film a little bit, but make sure to check it out over on his channel and get his first experience. This is insane, guys. It's awesome. I mean, take a look at these guys. This is Sultan right here, so it's awesome. So uh, definitely uh, do me a favor. Uh, again, get Noah to 100K subs. <laughs> Let's get that done. Uh, is, is it, are you, how are you feeling? I'm excited, honestly. For some reason, I don't feel scared right now, and that's not a good thing because these guys are something you should be scared of. I, I don't fear either. He, he's got my no fear gene, at least no fear with animals. Okay, let's do this. He got fed the other day, so I think he'll be happy and calm, but you never know. You never know, Noah. See how, he, see how he's getting his feet under him a little bit? Yeah. Starts turning towards you guys, just yep. uh, head for the Out fence. the gate. Yep. Just stand still, Salt Noah. Ten. Stand still. Now you gotta make him go back that way. Yeah. Salt in. Come here, bub. Yeah. Salt in. Come here. Like right this way. Whoa. You got big boy coming. <laughs> come on. This is, this is no! Come on, big girl. Come to me. Blood. He's going to the spot. This is freaking oh, yeah, epic. Good. Man. It's the best day of my life, I tell you. Focus. Come on, big boy. Hey, uh, the last time Mike Good. got a phone call while we were in a saltwater crocodile yeah, pen, he almost died. Yeah, baseball tournament <laughs> yeah. all weekend. Remember when I was a kid, I used to look at this website called reptilebehavior.com and uh, it was put up by Flavio Morrissey. And I was asking him the story. There was a picture of somebody pulling eggs from a nest with a Cuban crocodile's face right at the person who was pulling the nest out. Could you tell me the story of that? Because it's just unbelievable to me. Yeah, um, man, I was just going back a ways. We uh, had a communal nest. There were uh, several females in one nest with Cubans. They've been known to do that, and they're pretty yep. nasty. So we started using uh, positive reinforcement with food, trying to draw them away. Mm -hmm. But it's instinct instinctual for them to guard their nest. Yeah. Uh, so they kept coming back, kept coming back. So what we then started doing was we would call the male, Ricardo, and we would get him over by the nest, and we put him on a hold through positive reinforcement. The females would then try to cross over him and he would keep the females back. Okay. And kind of a feeding response slash don't come over here my area. So we were able to collect Cuban crocodile eggs uh, without any restraints, without any ropes, without any tape. Uh, actually just with a bucket of food. Didn't the, sound smart then, it doesn't sound smart now. No, no it's not, but you guys learned so much. Like you <laughs> said, did. the communal behavior of Cuban crocodiles is so incredible, and Mike here is, is literally one of the legends of, of figuring out this reptile behavior, so we're pretty damn you know, lucky to uh, get to hang out with this guy today. I think that Flavio just had these ideas, and I was just dumb enough to listen. Yeah. I think that's kind of how it went. So guys, was that ridiculous or what? Best experience ever. Miguel actually asked me if he could get a picture with a big alligator or crocodile yeah. that yeah. was amazing right and then noah man i mean oh, yeah. what do you think you were right there 
I mean, there, there wasn't much thinking going on besides uh, how do I get out of here. <laughs> yeah, it was no, cool. you were you were unbelievably yeah, it was cool. Really cool. It was awesome. No, I mean Noah has come so far <laughs> in such a short period of time. It's truly amazing. I mean, six months ago, if you would have said he's going to be in with a big Nile, I would have said no way in the world. And uh, and and here he is, just cool and calm. That's it was awesome. It's cool. So one of the cool things about the alligator farms and zoological facilities in Florida is not only are they you know do they provide this amazing place for all these crocodiles and alligators but they end up being rookeries for all kinds of rare and endangered birds it's a great place for them to go and nest so you get to come to a place like Gatorland and see all these cool gators and crocodiles and just all kinds of amazing birds I love it finishing up here at Gatorland it's absolutely amazing ran into mad bio reptiles here my buddy he is now an employee of Gatorland so when I get down I have a second person I can come hang out with yeah I'm so excited to see you I'll put a link in the description to his stuff please give him some love how absolutely cute is this? So we're gonna go ahead and head out of Gatorland. We're actually heading to a friend of mine that used to live in Michigan, has a bunch of kangaroos, a bunch of crazy animals. So we're, that's our next stop of the day. Should be pretty amazing. And I don't know if it's gonna happen, but we're gonna actually try to borrow a kangaroo for a day for Noah to do a 24-hour challenge with a kangaroo. So stay tuned. It's possible to see in the distance, but there's actually a couple albino kangaroo over here. And actually, I wish I could telescope in because the male is actually breeding a female right now. <laughs> Let's both vlog each other laying in the, the tick infested grass, <laughs> waiting for some kangaroos. <laughs> this will be great. Hey Miguel, have you ever heard of Lyme disease? Yes. Okay, good. Tell your doctor when you start feeling bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really don't know what's going on. How cool this is. I love it. That's a female. You can tell the female because she makes the grooming noise. I love emus. As a matter of fact, when Jeff was up in Michigan, at one point I almost got some emus, but Lori wouldn't let me get them. Go figure. So Forrest wants to just get the experience of holding one. Yeah, I really do. Okay. okay. So I don't know how this is going to go. Okay, okay, okay. Settle down. Oh, don't, 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 don't kick. Don't kick. Don't kick. So, <laughs> where you at? I don't have your phone. Stay behind him. Stay behind him. That's it. That's how you handle an emu. That Forrest got an emu. Yep. <laughs> it's good. Good one. Good one, Forrest. No problem. That's how you handle an emu. Forrest, yeah, what the Forrest. heck are you doing to that emu? <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know if this can be online, but... Right here. That looks really weird. <laughs> Right Should I try to pick him up? Breeding season for the emu. So that's how you. How you Guys, these are awesome. These are the largest rodent in the world, the capybara. Oh my. Selma, you want some sugar cane? What is this called again? Swamp wallaby. Swamp wallaby. What's her name? This is a boy. Oh. And his name is Garrett. You know that noise, right? Everybody knows that noise. I don't. That's the background noise in every jungle movie ever made. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this might be going home with Forrest. Yeah. And this was kind of at the Yeah, I think I'd start with the smaller one for sure. <laughs> So the good news is, is that uh, this is going to be coming on some adventures with us tomorrow. You, you ready to take care of this? No, that's forest. That's all forest. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Noah, get ready for a 24-hour no. challenge where no. Noah has to take no. care of a baby no. wallaby for 24 hours. No. Yes, yes, that's too much. Okay, watch, watch on Noah's channel. It's coming, coming soon. Yes. All right, guys. So we are wrapping up this day in some little town in Florida. I don't even have an idea where we are, but it's absolutely a cute little town. We're just going to have dinner, wrap it up, head back to the hotel 
and get some rest and get tomorrow started because we have some amazingly cool things. Tomorrow we're not only visiting my friend Robbie, but we're also hooking up with the Bram fam. We're going to do some really cool at a place called the Sarasota Something Gardens. I'm not sure. Going to be a bunch of really cool animals. In the meantime, you guys have an absolutely amazing day because I am going to end the vlog. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, your support means the world to me and I truly love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash that like button? Turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video. Leave a comment down below because I love reading about your beautiful faces. Not to mention, I'd like to know which animal you thought was so awesome today. Be kind to someone and I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.